As a teacher or an outdoor educator, you might be wondering, how can I learn more about bats and how can I present this information to my students in a way that inspires them to learn more about bats? The Project EduBat curriculum has all the information you need to be successful in teaching about bats and also about white nose syndrome. Using this curriculum, your students can become a bat biologist by weighing and measuring bats. Calculate the value of our insect eating bats that save farmers billions every year and even explore the scientific methods used to investigate how infectious diseases like white nose syndrome spread. The curriculum is supported by free materials that are available to you in a bat trunk that you can borrow. The trunk contains all the materials you need to teach the lessons. The bat trunk also provides books and DVDs for you and your students to learn more about bats. These include Bat Conservation International's Discover Bats curriculum, Project Underground's curriculum about caves and cave life, books at adult and elementary levels about bats, and also DVDs about the science of bats, building bat houses, and white nose syndrome. Lessons are geared toward a wide audience from the elementary level through high school. Each lesson starts with a background section to help you learn about the lesson concepts and then guides you through setting up the lesson, the get ready section. The lessons present background information for your students, the get set section, and specific instructions for actually doing the lesson, the go section. Student reading sheets and worksheets are provided. Teacher answer sheets and suggestions for assessment and student reflection are also provided. If your students are inspired and or need more challenge, they can try the extension activities included with each lesson. The Project EduBat curriculum is linked to national education standards, including Common Core standards in math, reading, and writing. The curriculum is also linked to the Next Generation Science standards. All of the materials produced as part of this project are in the public domain and can be freely copied and distributed. Let's take a quick look at three Project EduBat lessons to see how they work. In the Project EduBat lesson, How Do I Compare to a Bat? A lesson at the elementary school level, students learn a lot about bats and themselves by comparing various aspects of their anatomy, physiology, and behavior. In this activity, children take their own measurements and compare them to those of two bat species found in the western United States, the canyon bat and the big brown bat. In the Project EduBat lesson, Neighborhood Bats, Predicting Species Occurrence, a lesson at the middle school level, students use range maps, habitat types, and other biological requirements to predict which common bat species may live in their area. This activity also includes a PowerPoint presentation that you can use to help students describe the major habitat types identified in the Neighborhood Bats activity. In the Project EduBat lesson, There's a Fungus Among Us, White Nose Syndrome Transmission, a lesson at the high school level, students investigate how infectious diseases are spread, focusing on the disease White Nose Syndrome and the scientific methods used to investigate diseases. Students will simulate the interactions of bats in a cave when bats are in close proximity and may spread the white nose syndrome fungal spores. At the beginning of this activity, only one student will be infected, with laundry detergent actually stuck on the palm of their hand. After coming into physical contact, shaking hands with classmates, students will have the chance to test if they have been infected by observing their hand under a black light. They will be surprised by how quickly the disease can spread. Students will also interpret graphs to learn about doubling effects, exponential equations, and population growth curves. Be sure to watch the short video, There's a Fungus Among Us, to see how students shake hands, transmit the fungus, and check to see if they are infected. Project EduBat also has a graphic novel. The Bat Brigade graphic novel is more than just cool. It's a great way to engage kids in reading. The Bat Brigade is the fascinating story of three superheroes fighting to protect bats and the places they live. The Bat Brigade teaches the reader how they can take action to help our bats. The graphic novel is fast paced and it requires the reader to actively engage with the text and the images to gain a full understanding of the story, meaning it can be read over and over again just for fun. After reading the Bat Brigade graphic novel, students can try to figure out this logic puzzle that tests their understanding of the concepts. 
An additional Project EduBat reading resource is this one-page American Bats comic poster, including lots of fun facts about bats. To get started using the Project EduBat curriculum, go to the Bats Live website at the following URL. Directions for borrowing a Project EduBat bat trunk can also be found there. Remember, all of the materials produced as a part of this project are in the public domain and can be freely copied and distributed. Project EduBat would like to thank the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service for funding this webinar. We would also like to thank the Southeastern Cave Conservancy for their partnership. The U.S. Forest Service provided initial funding to develop the Project EduBat curriculum. Project EduBat would also like to thank these sponsors for their support.